Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously we've seen the lookup transformation, its examples and the multi-value examples as well. Today let's take a look at the connected and unconnected lookup types. What is connected lookup transformation? A connected lookup transformation receives source data, performs a lookup and returns data to the pipeline. Connected lookup is a part of mapping and is connected via port. As you can see in this figure that the source qualifier, one of the columns for source qualifier goes into the lookup transformation and then the target is populated from the source qualifier as well as the lookup transformation. An unconnected lookup transformation is not connected to a source or target. A transformation in the pipeline calls the lookup transformation with the colon LKP expression the unconnected lookup transformation returns one column to the column transformation. Here you can see in the figure that the lookup transformation is secluded, it's not connected to any of the sources or the targets. And in the properties in the expression editor, you can see the double uh, the colon LKP dot uncon expression has been used. So when exactly do you go for an unconnected lookup? when you require only one column from the lookup table or when you want to use the lookup multiple times within the same mapping. What are the differences between connected and unconnected lookup? There are quite many differences between connected and un unconnected lookup transformations. You can choose the best fit mode based on your requirements. Some of these differences are below. The connected lookup inputs obtained from mapping pipeline while an unconnected lookup the input is obtained from the colon lkp function lookup connected can return multiple columns while the unconnected lookup can return only a single column the connected supports static and dynamic cache while the unconnected supports the static cache only the connected lookup can return multiple columns while the unconnected can return a single column. The connected lookup returns default value in case of no match found, while the unconnected returns a null if no match is found. The connected lookup requires lookup instance every time you want to use in a mapping, but you can use unconnected lookup multiple times in a single mapping by just a single instance in the mapping. Now how to choose the lookup type? The below algorithm can very well help you to choose the right type of lookup for your Informatica mapping code. If the number of columns to return from the lookup table are more than one, you can opt connected lookup transformation. Otherwise, if it's equal to one, you can go for the dynamic cache. When, if you're looking up your target looking up your target table and there is a need of dynamic caching, you can always opt connected lookup. If you're required to return one output port, no dynamic caching is required and you need multiple instances of the lookup transformation, then you can always go for unconnected lookup transformation. Following are the points that can help you to tune your lookup transformation. Firstly, for the flat file. A flat file lookup are always cached so you do not really hesitate much in choosing the lookup type in this case. Partitioning the flat file source, which is used as lookup, will greatly help with respect to the performance. Flat file lookups are always cached, so I would not prefer connected, unconnected, if my lookup source is a flat file. For the relational object, the first question that pops up is how huge is the data? Quite many times, you end up with huge data volumes that practically do not allow you to use <coughs> the caching feature from the performance point. <coughs> partitioning in Informatica again greatly helps. In case of absence of Informatica partitions, you can very well scale the advantages of your DB partitions to improve your session performance. In the following video, we'll take a look at the unconnected lookup transformation example. So stay with us. Till then, take care of yourself and bye-bye.